In this video, we'll look at methane, ethane, propane, butane, and pentane, and some of the other alkanes. So when we're talking about these alkanes, we're talking about molecules that have carbon and hydrogen and only have single bonds. So these are single bonds between them here. The simplest example of an alkane is methane. It has one carbon, the formula is CH4, and it begins with meth, that's the beginning. You'll note that all of these end in A-N-E. Alkanes, they end in A-N-E. So the first one is meth, methane. That's a carbon, and it has four single bonds. It has four hydrogens around it. When we talk about alkanes, the carbons in alkanes, they can have four things bonded to them. So the carbon here has four hydrogens. And we can use this simple rule here. We take the number of atoms, that's the N here, we put a one, C1, H2 times one plus two, that gives us the CH4. So if we just know the number of carbons, we can figure out the number of hydrogens in an alkane. Let's take a look at ethane. For ethane, begins with eth, ends in A-N-E, we have two carbons. So if we had two, that would mean C2H6, that would be the formula for ethane. Let's take a closer look at propane, begins with prop, ends with A-N-E. So for propane, we have the three carbons, so we get C3H8, begins with prop, ends in A-N-E. So here's our three carbons. The ones on the ends, they have three hydrogens bonded to them, and then they have a bond to a carbon. Remember, the carbon in alkanes only bonds to four things. Then the one in the middle, that has two carbons because it's bonded to carbons on either side, so it has four bonds as well. If we do the model, it would look something like this, the three carbons and then the hydrogens around them. Often chemists will use an abbreviated notation to make things a little easier. So the carbons, they're on the end and then at this bend right here, just like we see in the molecule. We don't write the hydrogens because we know each carbon is going to be bonded to four things. So this is a very simple notation for propane. We go on through butane, pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, nonane, and then decane. It's very useful to memorize these prefixes. They come up a lot in organic chemistry. Let's wrap up with decane. So for decane, we have 10 carbons. So if we had 10 here, we'd put a 10 there. C10H22, that would be the formula for decane. And we can keep adding carbons and making longer and longer alkanes. We can also branch alkanes. We could have something like propane here, and we could have a carbon bonded off of it like this. And then we'd have hydrogens around so that each carbon has four things. So that's a little bit about methane, ethane, propane, and the other alkanes. It's useful to know this formula here, and it's also useful to memorize these prefixes as they're used with other compounds, not just the alkanes. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.